on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast brought to you by Atlantic Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Senex, Iowa's Corn Farmers, Green State Credit Union, Quick Star, and by University of Iowa Healthcare. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. This week brings the crown jewel of golf, the Masters at Augusta National. Fifteen years ago, Cedar Rapids' Zach Johnson stunned the game, outlasting Woods, Mickelson, Furyk, Rose, and Westwood to win the prized green jacket. Henrik Stenson of Sweden finished 17th that frigid, rainy Sunday. Zach Johnson and Stenson were recently named Ryder Cup captains for 2023 at Marco Simone Golf and Country Club just outside Rome. There's a lot to unfold the next 18 months. Right now, Iowa City-born Zach Johnson is looking for a repeat in Georgia. We'll sit down with the rabid Hawkeye fan in just a minute on Fight for Iowa. More of the Fight for Iowa podcast after this. It's been a long day. Your schedule's tight. Can we just take care of dinner for you? Quickstar has take-home meals. Not cheap, flash, frozen stuff. Made from scratch, fresh, never frozen. Great quality because we make it ourselves. Grab a meal now to heat and eat later. Great kitchen cravings meals like fettuccine alfredo with grilled chicken. Meatloaf with mashed potatoes and gravy. Roast turkey with dressing and mashed potatoes. I feel a meal, a great family meal coming on that you didn't even have to cook. Quickstar, we got you covered. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. The head golf professional at Elmcrest Country Club in Cedar Rapids is Larry Gladson, a member of the Iowa Golf Hall of Fame. Gladson played at UNI and since the late 1980s has mentored 13 members of the PGA, the most famous of those, Zach Johnson. It was Gladson who in Johnson saw the competitor, the grit and toughness in the Regis High School athlete. Gladson would teach Johnson the finer points of golf. 12 tour wins, 83 top 10 finishes, and a couple of majors later, Zach Johnson is Ryder Cup captain for 2023, succeeding fellow Midwesterner Steve Stricker. The 46-year-old Johnson has competed in five Ryder Cups and is a player favorite. Johnson owes everything to his growing up in Iowa City and Cedar Rapids with great family support and Larry Gladson, who believed his dream of just making the tour would someday happen. An assistant captain for several Ryder Cups, Johnson will start his heavy analysis of the roster once the automatic qualifiers are determined. The game is as healthy as it's ever been for the United States, boasting a list of veterans including Dustin Johnson, Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth, Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kepka and Tony Finau, to young guns Scotty Scheffler, Sam Burns, Patrick Cantley, and Taylor Gooch. Johnson welcomes the managerial puzzle of blending talent with personality. Yeah, it, it is. You know, it's it's the beauty and the difficulty, right? Um, blessing and a curse, if you will. Uh, yeah, you know you you can't you can't beat or or uh, you know. I think diminish experience, right? I mean, it's, it's important. However, we've got a, a, a massive, you know, I would say talent pool of young studs that um, are making their way up. And we saw that at Whistling Straits this past fall. I think we'll continue to see that. We'll see that this coming fall uh, in Charlotte at the president's cup with Davis love as the captain. I mean, it, it, it's just, it's impressive where American golf is, uh, you got, you got everything. You got the 20 shoot, you got the young twenties and then you've got the, you know, the 30 year olds that have some experience. And then you've even got some, you know, older Wiley veterans too. So, um, good problems if they are problems. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's a little different when we play over here versus in the States versus going over there on a Ryder cup and playing on foreign soil. You know, we we're able to do a little bit to the golf course that fits you know, for the most part fits the bulk of our team and in the same holds true over there. So they're able to, you know, uh, I don't want to say manipulate, but they're able to, to kind of construct the, the, you know, T to green in a manner in which they feel is best for their team. So you kind of got to take all that in consideration and and try to mold and find the best team that can go out there and, uh, and perform. I mean, it, 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 you know, there's a lot, it's not just games and, numbers it's also personality and 
you know, camaraderie, chemistry, all of that. So uh, that that's the, the the difficulty, but also the beauty of it. I got to believe you thought a moment uh, when you were appointed as Ryder Cup captain, elected uh, as Ryder Cup captain, uh, thought a moment about being one of just a handful of guys that have won at Augusta and at St. Andrews. Yeah, I mean, I shoot that that comes up quite a bit, you know, uh, it's it is, you know, kind of like I said, with the, the captaincy to say that, you know, those were dreams come true. I mean, full transparency, I think I'd be lying. I mean, I don't, I don't believe as a kid that my dreams reached that far. Now, when I got on tour, certainly my aspirations changed, my goals changed, um, all of those, you know, I guess you'd say bulletin board or whatever you want to call them, you know, uh, goals changed, but the objectives and how to get to those goals never deviated and, and, and won't, um, it's all about hard work. It's all about, you know, utilizing whatever talent you have and trying to make it better. And, uh, you know, my motivation to practice, my motivation to compete has never waned. Um, my body at times might, <laughs> might, yeah. might say no, but, uh, you know, I, but the, the, you know, on, on the same line, same vein, I mean, it, my motivation to get in the gym has probably never been as high as it has right now. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm utilizing great people. I'm utilizing the right uh, modalities to practice, to work on my body, to work on the mental side of things, and just to get better and try to find that edge again. And um, I'm confident that, you know, as a competitor and as a player, I still got great golf in front of me. Uh, and then, you know, obviously you couple that with the captaincy, um, you know, it, it, it's a great thing. I mean, I'm still – relevant. I think mean, I mean, that's the beauty of my captaincy is I can still week in, week out, play with these guys and uh, take them out to dinner, play practice rounds with them, what have you. Uh, you know, not that I don't know them, but there's, going back to it, there's a lot of young guys that I don't know all that well. So I'm going to, you know, this year probably not as important. We got we got a President's Cup we got we to gotta worry about. But, you know, come 2023, uh, specifically January, you know, through the summer of next year, I, I want to make that a priority is just to be as visible and, and, uh, you know, as possible and be there for any questions or, uh, concerns or anything of that nature. And, um, that's what my captains did. And that's what I intend to do. Zach, what, what, give us a snapshot of the course, if you can, uh, just outside Rome, uh, first time in Italy. Uh, I mean, that brings enough excitement. You're around one of the great cities, uh, uh, as you know, uh, from biblical times to now, it, it should be a great atmosphere. Oh. Yeah, you said it. I mean, I, I, I have yet to go. I've not been to Italy or Rome for obvious reasons. Um, my wife's been there numerous times. My family's been there and they, the consensus is it's arguably their favorite country, um, outside of this great one here in the United States. Uh, the history is, well, I don't want to say it's unparalleled, but there's not many countries that have the history that Italy has. Um, I think you kind of get, <laughs> yeah, like a lot sure. of places in Europe, you get an appreciation for how young we are and how old, you know, those, those cities are over there. So, um, a lot to look forward to, you know, uh, as far as the golf course goes, competition goes, um, this one's a little unusual. Uh, Marco Simone is a new course, uh, kind of built for this event to some degree. Um, the European tour, has only competed on it once, which is extremely uncharacteristic. Uh, typically, they compete on the venue for the Ryder Cup multiple times or, you know, uh, even decades prior to it. But uh, this one's a little bit different. They've only had one championship there. They'll have another one there this, this fall. And then I think they're going to try to move the date to next spring because it'll, it'll you know, too, be too close to the Ryder Cup in 23. So, in the fall. So, yeah, I mean, even the European teams or European players aren't that familiar with it. Uh, from the aerials I've seen, the videos I've seen, it, um, it's kind of just in, on, along the countryside, right? It sits outside Rome, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. But uh, it's got elevation change. It's got character. Um, not, not terribly wooded, just uh, kind of some rolling hills. Kind of, you know, frankly, it kind of looks like the Midwest. Um, 
but <laughs> <Great>. you know, <laughs> uh, you know, who, who knows? Now, again, they can do whatever they want. They'll probably grow the rough up, night, tighten the fairways, and slow those greens down. And that's been their recipe. That's it's worked for them, you know, for a long time. So it's going to be hard. It doesn't matter who's on their roster and who's on ours. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, but Zach Johnson admits the tougher the environment, the more he thrives. That's what underdogs do. How else can you post victories at two of the game's most difficult layouts, Augusta National and St. Andrews? Fifteen years ago, Johnson used cold and rainy April Midwestern weather in the Deep South to claim the green jacket in winning the Masters. He's back at Amen Corner this week. More about that week in 2007 when Fight for Iowa and Zach Johnson continues in a minute. More of the Fight for Iowa podcast after this. Here in Iowa, corn is more than our livelihood. It's our way of life. We use it to feed our livestock, helping us raise healthy pigs, cows, and chickens. We use it to make ethanol, helping us power a prosperous, clean-burning future. We use it to nourish our families, helping us stay strong generation to generation. And the more we use it, the more it boosts our economy, helping elevate the lives of all Iowans. You might think Iowa grows corn. But the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Expert care for sports injuries means getting back in the game sooner and stronger. I'm Dr. Brian Wolf, director at University of Iowa Sports Medicine and team physician for the Iowa Hawkeyes. You should never play through pain. That's why our sports medicine experts are here for you with same day, next day, and evening appointments. For imaging, therapy, or surgery, choose the team the Iowa Hawkeyes choose. Schedule a visit at uihc.org slash sportsmedicine. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. With a sparkling three under par 69 on Sunday at the Masters 15 years ago, Zach Johnson outlasted Tiger Woods, Retief Goosen, and Rory Sabatini by two shots. In the cold and rain, the gritty Johnson became the third champion in tournament history to post an over par total at plus one, joining Sam Snead and Jack Burke. Johnson's life changed forever, but not his small-town Midwestern ethics and everyday approach where faith, family, and friends prevail. His approach to that round four stretch of golf at Augusta was altered, though, by near-record-setting cold, rain, and the greatest players in golf. The players will tell you it's always about you versus the golf course. But this is Bobby Jones' golf course, and the elements that week took Johnson back to his days at Drake in October and November on the tee box at Waveland Course in Des Moines, hitting hundreds of shots in the bitter cold wind with his headset on listening to Iowa football games on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Where my roots are, it probably played in my favor. I mean, I've seen every – I've played in basically every precipitation. I've, I've played in temperatures that are not exactly golf ideal. And, you know, that week was one of those weeks where, you know, I could kind of rely on that. And my body was young enough that, you know, being cold, it really didn't, it really didn't hinder my performance. I think nowadays I probably have to warm up a little bit longer, but, um, you know, I, I don't know if it was an anomaly. I'm sure we could get an April similar to that. Uh, but as of late, you know, we've had more 85 degree days than, than 45 degree days. So, uh, it, it doesn't matter what the temperature is, what the wind is, what, you know, what the skies are, are doing at Augusta National that first week of April. It's always, always, always special. I cannot wait for it. My family cannot wait for it. Playing good is just icing on the cake because um, it is, it is, it is, you know, it's Augusta National. It's the Masters. Uh, it, it's amazing. Um, just an amazing facility, amazing place, amazing membership and amazing opportunity. And you know you're playing pretty good now. I'm, I'm, you're talking to a, a 17 handicapper here. I mean, I I think you're playing pretty good. Just missed the cut last week, and uh, you know you've had, like you said, as the body gets older, you have mm. your struggles in different ways. But uh, you you've made most cuts this year. Uh, you've had a couple really good tournaments. Uh, uh, how how do you feel your game is right now? No, I I appreciate the question. I mean. You know, I'm always the optimist, but I'm also, I think I'm pretty, I think I'm a realist and, and you know, I think you have to be, I mean, you know, it, it, this game's hard. Um, you know, it, it's one where you have to turn the page really, really quick, whether it's 
shot to shot, hold a whole round around or week to week. Right. And, um, I despise, man, I mean, I, Dolph, I despise missing cuts. I mean, I, I hate it uh, I know you do. <laughs> with a passion. Um, I mean, I hate it, but, uh, things happen for, in my, in my opinion, for all intents and purposes, the right reasons. And you learn from things, whether they're good or bad. And, and that's the way you kind of got to look at it. So, um, if I've had any frustrations, it's been, I'm actually just leaving my coach's, uh, facility as we speak. And, um, any frustrations is I know I'm swinging well. I mean, <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen the ball. I've seen it on camera. I've seen, I've seen it and I feel it. And I'm just not seeing the results quite yet. So really that the key word in all this is probably patience. Uh, and as, as an athlete, if you call golfers athletes as, <laughs> as a competitor, it, you know, that, that word is easy to say sometimes harder to execute. And, um, but I, I'm, I'm going to do it, you know, and, and I, I can't do it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm experienced enough. I'm, I feel like I'm savvy enough to just kind of wait, wait on it. And, and once it does happen, I think the consistency is going to come back. Did you get to watch? Have you been able to watch uh, March Madness? I know the Hawkeyes had an early out for both the men and women, but it doesn't take away from the, the great years that uh, coaches McCaffrey and Bluter had with their teams. I'm a fan of both my alma mater and certainly of the, the great institution in Iowa City. So uh, I watched every second easy to be a fan of both uh fran and lisa you know lisa's that drink when i was in school and um that's right uh, always been a fan of her and certainly uh coach jensen and Thoreau, they were all there when you're from the state of iowa and you don't live there um you, you still find these kind of organic ways to attach yourself and iowa sports is one of them and um i i, I don't know anything different i mean it, it's you know, my childhood was Kinnick in the fall and Carver in the winter. I mean, it just was. And, you know, obviously college was the nap center. Uh, so it's what I know. It's it's who I am. The ZJF, the Zach Johnson Foundation, uh, July will be here before you know it. Uh, hopefully we're having mm-hmm. the golf outing this year. It's been a, a struggle with COVID the last couple of years. But uh, give us an update and, and all yeah. the wonderful work you do for the, uh, the kids in the Cedar Rapids uh, Community School District. Yeah, no, thanks, Dolph. I mean, it is, uh, you know, another way that certainly my family and all of us back, you know, down here in the South are able to kind of attach ourselves back in Iowa as well. I mean, you know, the foundation was established to make a big impact in the Cedar Rapids community. We are confident and, well, frankly, we're we're positive that we're doing that. We're, We're our first graduating class of kids on course will be this this may um and they're gonna they're gonna go off to bigger and better things we're still gonna follow them because we have a scholarship program but first high school graduation class i should say um is this may so pretty special there pretty special indeed zach johnson kids on course dinner and golf outing at elmcrest country club in cedar rapids provides elementary school students with confidence building tools to develop their academic and individual creativity and inventive potential sounds like zach johnson the fundraiser realizes a million dollars annually you can help by just coming out and watching Zach, many more pros, and celebrities entertain you on Sunday and Monday, July 24th and 25th. Learn more at ZachJohnsonGolf.com. I'll be back after this. More of the Fight for Iowa podcast after this. Atlantic Coca-Cola Bottling Company is proud to support the local communities in which we live, work, and play. Every day, Atlantic Coca-Cola Bottling Trucks continue to help the food and beverage supply chain by delivering products to retail outlets and those restaurants providing carryout and delivery services. We know Iowans are resilient, and together we are strong. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. All the best to Zach Johnson as he looks for a repeat to 15 years ago this week at Augusta National in Georgia. I'm Gary Dolphin. Thanks for listening to Fight for Iowa. We'll be back next week with another edition. Hawkeye fans, remember to hit the subscribe button on your favorite podcast app. 
Once you become a Fight for Iowa podcast subscriber, you'll automatically receive the latest episodes of the Fight for Iowa podcast, the Herkey's Voice podcast, Hawk Talk replays, exclusive game day content, and more. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.